Well, obviously, with an uncertain world, and uh, you know, we're all struggling with the economy and our businesses and life. But you know, there is some opportunity. There is some good news. I want to talk to you about it today. Welcome to a Brink Thinking segment. It's Malcolm Out Loud. Remember, we want to take an average and, and, a, and a, just an ordinary idea, and we want to make it into an extraordinary idea. And how do we go about doing that? Well, when we take a look at the economy and we see what's happening around the world, many of you are struggling with, should you expand the business? Uh, you know, is now the time to hire? Uh, or should you get try to position a loan, whether the banks are you know, lending or not? Uh, or you're just looking for a new job or a new executive position as a, as a career uh, executive in your industry? Well, I've asked Harry Dent to join me. You've seen Harry on our, our, on our uh, TV channel as well. And I want to talk to him. I have the honor of talking to him a little brink thinking this morning here. So, uh, Harry, let's, um, uh, I want to, my philosophy and my belief over the years has been always this and I, I've said this as I come from corporate boardrooms it's where mm -hmm. I spent my life in 25 plus years um, in the corporate boardrooms and what I've suggested is this that um, when you are uh, have challenges in life and when they're you know we all go through the, the, nobody gets a clear sail and clear pass all the time when you have challenges in life or when the economy falters or when you know there's a difficulty or trouble within your maybe your industry or your business model or something else that I have always found as a marketer myself is that those are clear opportunities that you could take advantage of actually getting more market share and actually uh, taking a bigger yeah. piece of the pie for a lot of reasons do you subscribe to that philosophy? Yeah, I mean, my wife's a psychologist, and any psychologist will tell you breakthroughs come from breakdowns. The greatest business opportunities and investment opportunities come in history when things are down and most people are struggling and, 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 and don't get it, and, and the Joseph Kennedys sell at the top, buy at the bottom in, in, in the early 30s and make a fortune, just switching investments when markets go down 60, 70, 80 percent. The businesses that hunker down and gain market share, even if they're falling, in a downturn, they become leaders for decades to follow. General Motors did not, was not the leader in automobiles for most of the cycle into the roaring 20s. In the 30s, they became the leaders because they survived the downturn better and Ford never caught them again for decades. So you're right, huge you're right. payoff. I love that tagline you've just said, which uh, you've got to appreciate that. I mean, I mean how, how can you say any better than that? Uh, a, a breakthrough comes from a breakdown. That is well said. That could be a book. That's how way. people grow. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's why it, 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 that's why the economy trying to stimulate our economy ne never have a downturn. If you don't have a breakdown, you don't re-examine your business. Right. You don't get efficient. Businesses need this. Innovations come in the downturns, downturn, yeah. and then they get into well, the economy in the upturn. So you have to have both. What I see is, uh, uh, in my perspective, and having dealt with a, a lot of uh, C executives over the years, is you have to be able to step back to see the forest yeah. again, okay? Yeah. When times and you are have to good, be forced, otherwise you're complacent. Exactly. Yeah. And when the times are good, we're not forced to do that. You understand, Harry? And so what happens is as an executive or, or you know, whether you're a business owner or an executive out there or somebody's in business, whatever the case may be, um, we tend, I think, as Americans and as, as human beings, we take things for granted too much. We don't know enough, Harry, to reinvent ourselves. Now, listen, I'm on the other side of where you're at. I'm, a, I'm one who tries to spur people on to innovate, to inspire, I inspire and if, uh, as a public speaker, I talk about brain thinking, as you know, Harry, and I, you know, one day, one of my uh, things, you and I will have to do a uh, presentation on a stage one day, you and I, from a brain thinking mentality, Harry, we have to uh, is, uh, somewhere ahead to that, but it would be interesting because I come from an inspiring point with the attitude that you can do anything you set your mind to do, but I also come from the aspect of saying that if it ain't broke, break it, okay? Yeah. So this is a constant change. The only thing that is consistent in life is the fact that change is going to happen. That is the only constant in life. Though that may sound like an oxymoron, but isn't that true? Yeah, it is. And, and for entrepreneurs, the best decades in, in modern history for entrepreneurs were the 1930s and the 1970s. Both recessions, downturns, because old businesses are falling apart. and, and Bigger businesses are, are not easy to change. They're, they're just going down that path. So entrepreneurs do better when the breakdown happens and all these opportunities come out. And they just pick this niche, that niche. You just have to be prepared and be ready to act. Right, be prepared, be ready yeah. to act. Good, good, good advice, but here you are now. Okay, now we know there are some real challenges right now. We all understand that. But, and there are gonna be challenges ahead, we know that. 
So if you are prepared within your model sector or your piece or slice of the pie, uh, you can be in a position as this downturn happens to really take advantage, huh? Yeah, and again, what's cr what create not just entrepreneurs, what creates great leaders? Where, where did Lincoln come out of and Churchill and, and Roosevelt? And, out of crises. Bill Clinton always complains that he'll never go down as a g truly great president because he didn't have a big crisis. crisis. He didn't. He and didn't. he's right about that. Yeah, because he he'll, he'll always right. be liked, look good, the, because the economy was good point. when he was in office. It That's would have been it. good whether he wasn't. And a lot of people give him so much. Uh, and he, he, is, he was an interesting president, no yeah. question, for a lot of reasons. Good. But he he um, he gets a lot of credit for that. But you're right. He came in and things were pretty we, good. We predicted that entire boom right. in the 90s before he came into office. That's a great point. That's a great point. All right. Those right now that are in an industry or marketplace, you, you, let, let's think a minute about, from a brink thinking attitude, how we can take, you know, people right now, they're in this position of life, I, I think, in a, uh, you know, with, um, uh, a lot of challenges on their plate right now. Um, whatever money you have, you have to make it count, Harry, okay? Yeah. Uh, you've got to be able to either use it effectively to invest in what you're doing, or you've got to be able to provide a need to people out there, your consumers, that they're going to buy more. You also have to be a realist. Um, so, and you've got to be able to market yourself. Now, while a lot of players out there within your industry out there, whatever you're in now, a lot of industries I find, you have those who, here's what I say, a lot of people, like we talked about earlier, they kind of take their toys and they, they don't want to play right now, they go home. I think this is an opportunity for people to expand actually to, in their mindset, within their pie, within their business model, which goes against, I know, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, the tried and true of what people think, how they think, Harry. But I think right now, because there are so many downsides and because there are so many taking their toys and going home, because yeah. there is so much of that going on, that if you can reinvent, reinvigorate, re-inspire, isn't that the truth? Yeah, that's what happened in the 30s and the 70s. Old industries break down, companies pull back to survive, the entrepreneurs come in, the niches that open up. The other thing I say, even if you're an established business, small or large, look at your competitors today. Everybody knows who's weak and strong. This downturn is going to weed out the weak and make the strong stronger. So, so focus where you're best, understand what competitors are going to get in trouble. You're going to be able to, just like Joseph Kennedy buying stocks at 80% off, you're going to be able to buy all the assets you need, all the personnel, all the good customers. You're going to be able to take those away from failing companies at 20 cents on the dollar so. if you just wait target it and 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 you you you're you're together you didn't blow all your money you've conserved your capital and then you attack when things this are down. This is good stuff. This is the best advice we can give you guys on this. Bring thinking. This is bring thinking advice. This is exactly it. You know, in a bring thinking lifestyle, as you know, it's, it, think about it this way, guys. Think about it this way. Everything in bring thinking mindset is about uh, getting to an absurdity point of your life because just beyond the absurd is where greatness lies, is what I say, yeah. Harry. Yeah, I mean, you, this is my whole bring thinking Insanity philosophy. Insanity and greatness. Yes. A lot of people have said, yeah. You have to come through average. Finally. You have to question and everything you have to people say you're gonna do what are you out of your freaking mind yes i am partly out of my mind and i'm gonna do that how's that so i think that absurd mind when you think of any great invention when you think of any great success when you agree when you think of any great metric that has been accomplished you have to think at some point in time they were looked at and laughed upon as they're a Right? A Absolutely. Fool. A fool. When, when somebody sells you, tells you, oh, that, that can't possibly be done, you uh, know you may have a great invention. That's, it. that's or exactly innovation. it, man. I love it. That is a bring thinking attitude. So Harry's on it. He's right again, I think, with that attitude. Um, it is about, uh, I want to suggest to you again, reinventing yourself always. Never stop reinventing yourself. There are people who laugh at me or mock me, Harry, by saying, well, Malcolm, every time you get really great in life, successful, you always break stuff and you want to reinvent yourself. You're right! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm going to keep doing it till I'm dead and buried. Well, if man. you don't, the universe will do it for you. You know? Well, That's I'm going to keep doing it. I'm the guy who comes in the room and moves the furniture around so you fall on your ass. <laughs> How do you like that? And you may not like it, but that's the way it is. I believe that's our best stuff. I believe that's our best greatness. I believe that's how we, we, we shake the trees up and we get the best fruit to fall, is we continue to do that for Don't settle. Don't settle. And again, I keep asking you people, when are you going to make the leap?